Yo. Instagram. It is your boy. Kendrick Avant. I'm the multiple sclerosis outlaw. I am your agent of gratitude. <clears throat> what does agent of gratitude mean? Thank you for asking. Agent of gratitude means every day of my life. I exemplify how a gratitude journal can change your perspective. I'm not a coach, man. I am not a coach. I am simply an inspiring story of how a gratitude journal, stuff like this right here, can completely change your whole perspective. So I'm also an author. I wrote this book. The book is called If You Cannot Get Better, be better. If you can't get better, be better. And the book is based on um <coughs> excuse me. The book is based on my own experience of dealing with multiple sclerosis. I don't have healthcare folks. I got way too many illnesses. I had way too many issues. I quit healthcare in 2017 because my neurologist says she stopped counting my brain lesions at 54 and I already had 12 lesions on the spine. She wanted me to do chemotherapy. And I'm like, no, nah, dog, I can't do chemotherapy when when the steroids gave me stereopsychosis. Can't do I can't do chemotherapy when the Ampira gave me all the stomach convulsions. I'm not doing chemotherapy when I got on to Sabri and within three months my lesions triple. You had three bites at my apple, so I can't give you any more. So ever since two, March 1st, 2017, I have been without health care, and um, I'm at the primary progressive stage of multiple sclerosis. I got ulcerative colitis. I have spondylosis. I have irritable bowel disease. I got all types of nonsense. And pretty much all of it is tied to the multiple sclerosis. And the biggest way I deal with this, I have all types of stuff. I mean, like I do things like lavender and chamomile or in my, or in my J's. I might smoke mint whenever my stomach hurts. My queen will make me a sweet potato smoothie if I cannot have a bowel movement. Medicines and everything like that, taking them all my life and they never helped me get regular always call cramps always call convulsions but man when my queen makes this sweet potato smoothie jesus i can use the bathroom and for within like an hour and it helps out tremendously i do dietary changes i do all type of things to manage and deal with my multiple sclerosis because i don't have health care I don't take prescription pills. Every once in a while, I might pop a pain pill. Like, like I got a homegirl that came through here and brought me some, um, she brought me some Flexoril. I ain't never had it before, so I had to go and pop the Flexoril once or twice because I had fallen and hurt my back real bad. And Flexoril was huge, Help, helped out quite a bit. All I really did was put my ass to sleep. But yo, if you are sleeping while you're hurting, you don't really feel the pain as much because you're ass asleep. So that was a good thing. But I'm rambling. What I want to help out, what I'm talking about is this gratitude journal and how the gratitude journal will completely change your perspective. The gratitude journal is the reason why I'm able to communicate with my queen so well. She and I were looking at divorce in 2017 when I had quit the medication and everything. Um, I had become quite an ugly fella, man. Like, I was fussing all the time. And of course, it all makes sense because I have multiple sclerosis and I couldn't walk anymore and I'm pissing on myself. I mean, like shit was all bad. So, of course, you can understand why I stayed flipping out on different things. Stayed flipping out. But when I started this gratitude journal, the power in it is your why statement. So every gratitude, every last gratitude looks like a little miniature story or a little tall tale or something. Aesop and his fables, the power in your why statement is when you come back and read your gratitude journal tomorrow or next week, or if you're still doing it like a month from now or a freaking year from now, everything that I write in here makes me giggle, smile, and brings back the happy moments. It's not that it, 
it's like it's almost it's transforming you into being a more positive person. And it's because you are tracking the why of your gratitude. You got to put the why statement in the gratitude. Everybody loves to say, I'm so grateful that the sun is shining. I'm so grateful that I have a job. I'm so grateful for, for my kids' health. You are. You are. You really, really are. But a gratitude is when you can put that why with it. So when I do my shit, I'm saying stuff like, I'm so grateful that my kids are healthy because I had big plans to take their ass to the park today. My son is always yapping and he is so good at basketball now. And I got to see what his handles are like. So I went out there to watch. I can't play because I'm disabled in the wheelchair. But I saw my son shoot, shoot, shoot a few J's, score a few points, and I feel good about it. All that goes into my gratitude journal. That whole thing goes in there. That way, when I read it tomorrow, and when I read it next year, and I read it next month, when I read that whole little thing, you you got it. You can't be. I'm getting too damn excited. When you read that whole thing again to yourself, you get excited, you get happy, you get crunk all over again. And with that happiness, with that excitement, means you are not thinking about your disabilities. You're not thinking about the handicaps. You're not overthinking what you said to your spouse last night. You're not angry because the kids came in came in to get breakfast and didn't say good morning to your ass. Like a lot of the things that you stress about, you're not stressing as much because you're spending so much time thinking about why you are grateful, not just listening it. Why you are grateful. So I put the book out. People are buying the book. Man, I wrote three books last year under the pseudonym LeVar Chase. And I've released two of them this year. I've rewritten. I've, you know, I, I, did, I did some remixing to them, of course, tweaked them out. But now I'm putting things out under my own name, Kendrick Avant. Why am I doing that? Because I'm able to see my own damn worth. When I'm putting these books out last year, I'm using the name LeVar Chase because I'm really thinking to myself, ain't nobody want to buy a book from this, from my disabled ass. Like, I'm really thinking that. I was really, really thinking that, which is why I put everything out under LeVar Chase. Ain't no partners going to support this. But I've written in the Gratitude Journal so much. I'm doing it so consistently that I don't think those thoughts near as much because I spend so much time wondering and thinking about the gratitude, man. It's not just three. Sometimes I do four, five, six. It's not just the four, five, six. It's because every day I'm thinking to myself, oh, what am I going to put in my gratitude journal? Oh, so-and-so happened. But what's the wise thing to that one? Ah, uh, I did some something like that last week, I think. All that time, all that energy, all that thought process means I'm not thinking about the bills that are due. I'm not stressing over how much I don't like my job. I'm not wondering if my unemployment claim will go through. I'm not wishing I would get a disability check because I'm spending that time, that energy on why I'm grateful. That shit changes you, man. This shit changes your communication. I write about it and I think about it so much. I don't just fuss at my kids about leaving toys out and leaving lights on and always asking for something. Instead, I'm telling my kids, yo, thank you for doing the kitchen. God, dog, y'all couldn't be, y'all put up, you turned off the TV? Good job. Yo, son, great job keeping that trash out, man, because that shit was about to fall up. And I have these conversations because I'm always writing something in my gratitude journal, thinking about something in my gratitude journal, which changes the way I communicate with my queen, with my kids, with my partners, with everything, man. It's even improving my business. Because like I said last year, I put out three books under the name LeVar Chase. I'm so ashamed. I was so ashamed of myself and where I was in life and what I'm struggling with. I didn't want anybody to know I'm trying to put out a book. And this year, it's like, yo, I'm giving away one of my books for free. And that's the very first one. 
The second book has sold, last year I think I sold seven or eight copies total. Out of three books, like seven or eight copies total. I've sold like close to 30 or 40 of my gratitude journal in the first week. And it's because, I know it's because people can actually see the energy I'm talking about with this man. Like this is something anybody can do. I wasn't born like this. I was not this guy gifted and just able to see things, but it's changing me. Stuff happened with the white last night, Tuesday night. Lightning strikes, and I must. It must have hit like right there in the front yard, because I'm on the phone doing my Medicare Medicaid service. I'm trying to help a lady get it, get her transportation emergency stuff done. And it popped so loud. Not only did I hear the kids scream, but it popped so loud in my ears with this headset on. I felt like somebody punched me in my neck. I lost my work monitors. The, the desktop computer for work went out. Um, the Roku streaming device goes out. So ain't no more watching TV. I mean, it blew out all types of stuff. Not only that, man, but it struck so close that it completely fucked up the Tahoe. So like now the light, the blinking lights don't work on the Tahoe. The trunk doesn't work anymore. So I can't put my wheelchair like in the Tahoe. Like all types of shit kind of fucked up. And my wife comes in last night. She's angry about it. She's like, man, I can't believe the lights went out. I can't believe this. And now the trunk went open, blah, blah, blah. Because she's going through it. And all I'm thinking is, dog, I'm just grateful for your ass didn't get stopped by the damn police. Like, you had no blinking lights? None? The brake lights work, but your blinking lights don't work? You mean you're doing all that switching lanes and the police didn't get you? Yo, I am grateful. And this, that is the power of the gratitude journal. Whenever I hear things, I'm not just stuck on the negative part of it. I'm not just stuck on the hard part of it. Right away, my mind is finding a way to assess the situation and find a way to be grateful about it. The lightning strike that hit, of course, we're happy that nobody got hurt. But then, even as it's going on now, like right now, dude, I am off work today because I'm a work from home agent. I'm on the phone, the lightning strikes, hurt, hurts my ear, all that. That means I'm on the clock right now as I wait for my new work shit to arrive. Dog, you trying to tell me that that's something to be grateful for? I needed a day or two to work on my blog, my brand, my business, my new book. I needed some time to sit back on Clubhouse and put together some more business planning and some strategies to talk to principals because I feel like this gratitude journey could be in schools and everything. I needed that type of stuff, man. And now suddenly lightning strikes. I got it all. Yeah, it's unfortunate what happened to the truck. But I'm pretty sure we got a homeboy that can get that fixed for the low low. Like, I feel like the solution with getting these lights and everything is going to be a quick fix. But me getting two days off of work while getting paid for work, bravo, gratitude, bravo. Your boy appreciates you. I really, really do. And so what I'm doing, I've been meaning to do this. I'm going to tell you, I've been showing you the gratitude. I'm on day eight. Of, I'm on day eight of writing my gratitude journal out in my own book. And I share it with my Facebook group. I got a Facebook group called If You Can't Get Better, Be Better. You don't have to buy the book to join my Facebook group. All you have to do is want to get on this mission. All you have to do is want to accept the difference between being grateful and expressing your gratitude. And I'm going to let you in the group. Every day I'm writing in this journal just so people can see the energy that I'm talking about. That means for day for 256 straight days on allthingsonelove.com. Which is my personal family blog over how my family deals with chronic illness and all this type of stuff. 256 days in a row. I have put at least three gratitudes with the wise. Sometimes they're easy. Sometimes they're short. Sometimes they're really, really good. Sometimes they're deep. But it's like you get my three wise for 256 days in a row. And I mean, the it, it changes things. It really, really does. When you, when I can't write, I, when I started my gratitude journal, my fans, my hands and everything were shaking so much from the multiple sclerosis. 
that I couldn't even write consistently. So what I did for when I started out was the first 30 days, I used Podbean and like made like a little podcast of it. And so for every day for the first 30 days, you can hear me saying, I'm grateful that the kids are healthy because I don't have money to buy new food. I'm grateful that um, I'm sitting outside because I need sunlight. Like you hear me talking like that. And then by day 14, by day 20s, you hear me saying, I'm grateful that the kids are outside because I get to play with them. I haven't played with them in a long time. Like you can hear the energy coming in and I'm starting to feel it myself. And then I write for a while. Like I've, I've been doing this for a while now, man. But either way, this is on Instagram. So let me tell you my people, my tribes people on Instagram. Let me read to you how I do these gratitude journals. So here I go. It is day eight, Thursday. I am grateful that I can record them. Them are my supervisors at work. I finally booked up and I filed complaints over the American Disabilities Act and some other stuff they've been doing and things have been getting better. Recording them gives me the power and the comfortability that I can do my damn job at work and put pressure back on them. Yo, that's what I'm really writing all of this here, people. I'm really writing all this. I'm writing that whole story. And that really is true. Like HR hit me up yesterday. I can't even can't even work right now. So of course, whatever with that. But I can now announce when I go into these work meetings and I'm working from home. That means I can announce when I go into the different meetings and everything. I am recording this because I'm Kendrick and I don't like the environment and the bullying that happens at this workplace. I'm allowed to now state that, and then I can hit record and start recording it. Dog, you think that's not pressure back on people who've been with me at work? Yo, I'm loving that. Grateful for that. Gratitude number two. Met this dude named Tyler. Man, we met in the clubhouse room. Let me just read the gratitude. Let me stop trying to paraphrase, read the gratitude. Tyler, yo, what a conversation. I read my own hand right now. What a conversation. Ayahuasca sounds scary as fuck. But now I know it worked for him. And it gives me so much hope in what I am doing for myself. Plus, we're going to Ecuador. And he learned everything he's doing with ayahuasca in Peru. And the countries are similar. I don't really know how similar they are. But that's what I put in my gratitude journal. And I met this cat named Tyler, man. I'm so shocked. Dude is from America. Got multiple sclerosis. He said the shaking and everything, the, the, the tingling had gotten up to his neck. He goes to Peru. And he's been reading and seeing videos about ayahuasca. He goes to ayahuasca. He goes to Peru. He gets fired from his job because the, because the condition and everything, it couldn't work. He gets fired from his job. Goes to Peru to try out this ayahuasca. Nobody in, nobody wanted to help him go because they didn't believe it. And ayahuasca sounds crazy as hell. It really does. But either way, so he does a GoFundMe account and everything. Gets, gets it all together. Jumps off to Peru. To make a long story short, now my boy is now walking and he's regular as hell. But he's just said, fuck it and stayed in Peru. Like an American, like, fuck it, staying in Peru because the ayahuasca he feels like healed him. All the natural elements he feels like heals him doesn't watch TV on a regular basis. They just got Wi-Fi in the jungle where he is at. It's an hour drive to the market. That's why we're going to Ecuador. Because I want that same experience. I'm not going to try our ayahuasca because I got all types of fears. And like I told you, it's scary as fuck. But that's in my gratitude journal. Number three, the last one. So I can get ready to get off this thing. Number three, I got new work equipment coming. So I can give my old monitor to my son and he'll have a full desktop computer. I'm grateful he can start, grateful he can start learning and building his own business based on all these different things he wants to do. Plus, with the girls doing their videos and my daughter doing her own YouTube channel. He'll have his equipment, and the whole family is doing something in Ecuador. Boom. Grateful, grateful, grateful keeps going. 
and you see I got these watch statements in it. And listen, I'll come back and read this later on. Yo, I'm going I'm to get just as excited, just as just as crunk. That's how the gratitude works, man. That's how, it's, that's how it's going. That's how it changes everything. So I got to get ready to hop off. It ain't like I got somewhere to go because like I told y'all, I'm on the clock. Grateful for that because the lightning strike and all that. But yo, I appreciate your time. Appreciate your energy. Get yourself a gratitude journal. You don't have to buy one. Dude, I've just wrote mine. Mine's on, mine's available on Amazon. I'm going to make a video. How all you do is get one of them 50 cent dollar store spirals and you can use that because you don't need a bunch of prompts. This is every day you are writing three things you are grateful for and you write why you are grateful for each. The deeper you go with why you're grateful, the better it works. The stronger the emotion is, the more belief you have in it, the more you start to do it. That's it, man. I'm out.